beat drill I'm independent, I don't need no deal I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill Alright, so first off, let's launch GarageBand just by clicking on our GarageBand logo just here and you know, by default, it's going to boot up with our last project, but we want to make a completely new project. So up in the top left hand corner, we've got this little icon for a new sheet just here. And then top right, we're just going to tap on the plus icon. And we're going to start ourselves off with exactly what we need, which is going to be the drum sequencer. So let's scroll along until we find what looks like a snare drum. You've seen like the marching drums kind of thing. Now at the bottom, there's these four different icons, okay? These four different icons let us quickly open up different aspects of a drum. We're going to choose the one that says sequencer. So what we get here is basically a bunch of squares and they're all kind of grayed out. It looks a little bit odd. Now, if you've ever seen something like an old drum machine across the bottom, it always has these 16 steps. But this is just the same thing copied over and over. And really simply what this does is break down steps in music. Everything's got a rhythm, and the most common rhythm you're gonna find in music is one over four. So really simply, if we were to tap these four squares, that gives us our one, two, three, four. Now in between the one, two, three, four, we have an and, and what works really, really well is to put, say, a hi-hat on the and, and that would look like this. Now, suddenly, this is starting to sound like a familiar beat. Well, if we put on the two and the four, a clap or a snare, we've got probably the most recognizable beat used. To make this even more recognizable, we can change the BPM. The BPM is the beats per minute. So how fast or slow this 4-4 rhythm goes. To do that, we're gonna press on the cog icon at the top. And you see here we've got tempo, so it's 110 at the moment. We can tap on that, and we can actually tap our tempo in by tapping on the block here. Let's see, it's now gone up to 130. If you're struggling to get the tempo you want by tapping, you can just use the icon here on the right hand side and just scroll. Let's take 128. 128 is a really common BPM for things like house music and modern pop in general. To take this beat away, we can just tap again on any of the blocks. But we can tap on one and drag our finger across and they'll all disappear. Let's change our BPM to something like 140. This is a really common BPM for grime and drill, two massively popular UK genres at the moment. Um, even classic garage was around this kind of speed as well. So a key factor in this are some really rhythmic hi-hats. We could do something like take the hi-hat here and just drag it all the way across. Um, but it sounds a little bit robotic. It's just the same sound, exactly the same level. But this is where something called velocity comes in. Velocity changes the level that a sound plays at. Now it might seem really subtle, but it's gonna make a huge difference. Watch this. Across the bottom here, we can tap on velocity. And it changes our blocks to have a little volume slider. When we press and hold, they're gonna be a little bit larger. If we just take the volume of every other one down, we suddenly get a lot more feel in our hi-hat sound. Do you hear how that's made a big difference? Now, something else popular in these genres are quick rolls as well. So this is the fastest that we can go at the 140 BPM that we're roughly at. And this uses every single beat, but you can actually get even deeper in between these beats. Watch this. If we tap on what's called note repeat, we can tap on another note and it will repeat it multiple times. And you can hear that very quick roll happen at the end. We'll place a couple in. we can tap on the sound and drag our finger up or down to add more or less rolls. Now let's try making the full sequence. If we use the kicks like we did before, well, it's not going to sound right. In this kind of music, we use something called syncopation. So we'll learn the first kick, just at the start here, and our next kick, 
That's actually going to happen a lot later. It's going to happen on the and over here. Now our snares we keep in the same place. And suddenly we've got that grind beat almost off the bat. To make it feel even faster and more aggressive, we can do another kick on the and. Really, really simple to do. We can change the feel entirely by using claps. Instantly it gives it far more of a club feel. To stop playing our sound without playing the track, we can just switch it off with the volume switch app. We can just switch it off with the on-off switch at the bottom. 